why do food companies sell junk? Because unhealthy commodities are highly profitable, in part because they're low production cost, creating perverse incentives for industries to market and sell more junk. Coca-Cola's net profit margins, for example, are about a quarter of the retail price, making soft drink production, alongside tobacco production, among the most profitable industrial activities in the world. And one of the reasons production costs are so low is that we taxpayers subsidize it. For more than a century, Western governments have invested heavily in lowering the cost of animal products and some basic cash crops, such as sugar. Accordingly, Western diets have shifted over the past century, especially after World War II, to include more animal sourced foods meat, poultry, dairy, seafood, and eggs as well as more sugar and corn syrup. During the same period, however, we have begun to realize that a healthy diet actually requires fewer animal products and empty calories, and more vegetables, fruits, beans, and whole grains. Though redressing this balance is a complex task, requiring not only a shift in agriculture investment and policy, but also changes in social preferences that have developed over decades, in part due to dollar menu meat. Why is chicken so cheap, for example? In the nine years that, that followed the passage of the 96 Farm Bill, corn and soy was subsidized below the cost of production to make cheap animal feed. So U.S. taxpayers effectively handed the chicken and pork industry around $10 billion each of taxpayer money. What if we instead subsidized healthy foods or, or taxed harmful ones? Every dollar spent uh, taxing processed foods or, or, or taxing milk would net $2 in health care cost savings, and every dollar spent making vegetables cheaper would net $3, and subsidizing whole grains could offer like a 1,000% return on our investment, with all the money we would save on paying for you know, Medicare and Medicaid costs. Unfortunately, we can't count on big broccoli. The produce sector lacks the extensive funding that went to create the National Dairy Council, the National Cattlemen's Beef Association, the National Pork Producers Council, and the American Egg Board. But even if we remove the hundreds of billions of dollars in annual subsidies for animal products, it might not be sufficient to tip the balance in favor of healthier diets. We have created societies in the West that value and consume meat, dairy, poultry, fish, seafood. You know, over several generations, a particular way of life has been promoted. This has shifted expectations about diet to include large amounts of animal-sourced foods, uh, the concept that a, a meal centers around some kind of hunk of meat. The idea that animal products should form the basis of our diet has been you know, scientifically debunked, but remains the social aspiration of billions of people around the globe. As we in the West slowly come to accept that our diets and eating habits are not healthy, it is to be hoped that this will change policies not only here, but throughout the world.